Papil people, Wikipedia article audio. The Papils or Cusacatlex are an indigenous people who live in western El Salvador, which they call Cusacatlan. Their language is called Nahuatl or Papil, related to the Toltec people of the Nahuatl nation. The Papil language is a Uto Toltec or Uto Nicaro dialect of the Nahuan languages branch a dialect chain that stretches from Utah in the United States down through El Salvador to Nicaragua in Central America. The name of the language family was created to show that it includes the greatest extent perimeter from the Ute language of Utah, to the former Toltec predecessor and the expanse margin Papil Nicaragua successors. Evidence from archaeology and ethnohistory also supports the southward diffusion thesis especially that speakers of early Nahuatl languages migrated from northern Mexican deserts into central Mexico in several waves. Their mythology, however, is more closely related to the mythology of the Maya peoples, who are their near neighbors, and by oral tradition said to have been adopted by C.H. Orti and Pokemon Mayan people during the Papil Exodus in the 9th century CE led by Topilts in Quetzalcoatl. Synonymy and Language The name Papil is the most commonly encountered term in the anthropological and linguistic literature. This exonym is from the closely related Nahuatl word pil son, boy. Archaeologist William Fowler notes that Papil can be translated as noble and surmises that the invading Spanish and their Indian auxiliaries used the name as a reference to the population's princely caste, which owned all land and directed and composed the standing army. In this reading, the name Papil only later became associated with the people as a whole. Common Salvadoran popular belief, however, is that the term Papil translates properly as childish and was inspired by the simple form of Nahuatl spoken by the people living at a distance from the core civilization in Mexico. The Papil speak the endangered Uto Aztecan language Nahuatl, also known as Papil in English, and as Nahuatl in Spanish. History Nahuatl Pil is cognate with Nahuatl Pi Pil Boy. The autonym in the Nahuatl language is simply Nahuatl which is related to the classical Nahuatl word Nahuatl. Migration and Legend For most authors the term Papil is used to refer to the language in only Central America. However, the term has also been used to refer to Nahuatl language varieties in the southern Veracruz, Tabasco, and Chiapas that like Papil have reduced the earlier slash TL slash sound to A slash T slash. The varieties in these three areas do share greater similarities with Nahuatl than the other Nahuatl varieties do, however. Campbell considers Nahuatl distinct enough to be considered a language separate from the Nahuatl complex, thus rejecting an Eastern Nahuatl subgrouping that includes Nahuatl. Spanish Conquest Finally, for other authors the term Aztec is used to refer to all closely languages in this region as a single language, not distinguishing Nahuatl from Nahuatl. The classification of Nahuan that Campbell argues for has been superseded by newer and more detailed classifications. And currently the widely accepted classifications by Lastra de Suarez and Kangar, see Papil as a Nahuan dialect of the eastern periphery. Modern Papil Dialects of Papil include the following. Today Nahuatl is seldom used except in some rural areas and mostly as phrases sustained in households in Sonsonet and Awakapan departments. Quis Nahuatl and Santo Domingo de Guzman have the highest concentration of speakers. Camel's 1985 estimate was 200 remaining speakers although as many as 2,000 speakers have been recorded in official Mexican reports. Gordon reports only 20 speakers. 
The exact number of speakers is difficult to determine because native speakers do not wish to be identified due to historic government repression of Aboriginal Salvadorinos, such as La Matanza of 1932. A cohesive group sharing a central Mexican culture migrated to the southern Guatemalan Piedmont during the late Classic. They settled around the town of Santa Lucia Cotzamal Guapa, erecting Monument 4 at around the division between the late and terminal Classic. The culture lasted until the Spanish conquest, at which time they still maintained their Nahuatl language, despite being surrounded by Maya. Bibliography The region was rich in natural resources, particularly cacao and fruit. The Papil introduced the cults of Zyptotec, Tlaloc, Quetzalcoatl, Huatiatl, Ihecatl, and Tlalcaitanatia. Their architecture is death-obsessed, as in their central Mexican homeland, their religion demanded human sacrifice. The Papil calendar was also expressed in central Mexican terms. A third group, designated as the Isalca Papil, are believed to have migrated into the region late in the 10th century, occupying lands west of the Lempa River during the 11th century. Legend and archaeological research suggest these migrants were refugees from conflict within the Toltec Empire to the north. The Papil organized a nation known as Cuzacatlan, with at least two centralized city-slash-states that may have been subdivided into smaller principalities. The Papil were also competent workers in cotton textiles, and developed a wide-ranging trade network for woven goods as well as agricultural products. Their cultivation of cacao, centered in the Isalcas area and involving a vast and sophisticated irrigation system, was especially lucrative and papil trade in cacao reached as far north as Teotihuacan. By the time the Spanish arrived, papil and Pocamam Maya settlements were interspersed throughout western El Salvador, from the Lempa River to the border with Guatemala. There were four important branches of the papil. Although they were primarily an agricultural people, some Papil urban centers developed into present-day cities, such as Sonsonet and Ahuacapan. The dominant Papil cities of Cuzacatlan and Tecpan Isalca in El Salvador were founded in approximately AD 1050. The ruins of Siwaitan, those in Aguilar's, and those close to the Guazapa volcano are considered among the most notable remains of Papil civilization. Papil may refer to a branch of the pre-Columbian Toltec civilization, which flourished in central Mexico around the close of the first millennium AD. The Toltec capital, Tula, also known as Talan and located in the present-day state of Hidalgo is the most significant archaeological site associated with the Toltec. The apogee of Tula's reach post-dates that of the great city of Teotihuacan, which lies further to the southeast and quite close to the modern Mexico City. Tradition, mythology, and archaeology strongly suggest these people arrived in El Salvador around the year AD 1000 as a result of the collapse of the Tala. The Tala, apparently a Toltec subgroup or family line, gained power or influence in the Toltec civilization at the fall of Teotihuacan. This group was ultimately defeated in a bloody civil war over succession to the throne of the Toltec capital Tula. The defeated group had little choice but to leave Mexico and emigrate to Central America. Tula fell a short time later, circa AD 1170, while under the reign of Humac Quetzalcoatl. The faction that lost the war was led by the celebrated hero Topiltzin, son of Mixcoatl. His followers thought he was a reincarnation of the god Quetzalcoatl, and used the name as a title. According to tradition, 
Topoltsin Ce Akital Quetzalcoatl founded a sanctuary to the god Nuiktlan in the region of Gija Lake. Later, he arrived at the now ruined Maya site of Copan in Honduras and subsequently went to the environs of the present Nicaragua, where he established the people known as Nicaro. Udo Aztec in 5000 BP asterisk, Shoshonin, Sonoran, Aztec in 2000 BP, Pochotec coast of Oaxaca, General Aztec, Western Periphery, Eastern Periphery, Papil, Sierra de Puebla, Isthmus Mecaapan. In the early 16th century, the Spanish conquistadores ventured into Central America from Mexico, then known as the Spanish colony of New Spain. After subduing the highland Mayan city-states through battle and co-optation, the Spanish sought to extend their dominion to the lower Atlantic region of the Papiles, then dominated by the powerful city-state of Cascatlan. Pedro de Alvarado, a lieutenant of Hernán Cortés, led the first Spanish invasion in June 1524. He was accompanied by thousands of Mayan allies, who had long been rivals of Cascatlan for control over their wealthy cacao-producing region. The Papil armies met the Spanish forces in two major open battles, but were massacred by the Spaniards' superior weaponry and diseases. Legend has it that a Papil cacique or king named Atlacatl and his son Prince Atonal led the Papil forces against first contact with the Spanish, most famous battle being Battle of Akajutla. The surviving Papil forces retreated into the mountains, where they sustained a guerrilla war against the Spanish who had proceeded to occupy the city of Cascatlan. Unable to defeat this resistance, and with Alvarado nursing a painful leg wound from a papil arrow in the first battle with Prince Atonal, the Spanish forces returned after a few months to the Mayan cities in the highlands of Guatemala. Two subsequent Spanish expeditions were required to achieve the complete defeat of Cascatlan, one in 1525 and another in 1528. After the Spanish victory, the Papils became vassals of the Spanish crown and were no longer called Papils by the Spanish but simply Indios or Indians. The term Papil has therefore remained associated, in local Salvadoran rhetoric, with the pre-conquest indigenous culture. Today it is used by scholars to distinguish the Nahua population in El Salvador from other Nahuatl-speaking groups such as those in Nicaragua. However, neither the self-identified indigenous population nor its political movement, which has revived in recent decades, uses the term Papil to describe themselves, but instead uses the term Nahuatl or simply Indigena. The Papil have had a strong influence on the current culture of El Salvador, with a large portion of the population claiming ancestry from this and other indigenous groups. Some 86% of today's Salvadorans are mestizos, with 10% of unmixed European ancestry. A small percentage is of pure or mostly pure indigenous ancestry, although numbers are disputed for political reasons. A few Papil still speak Nahuatl and follow traditional ways of life. The traditional groups live mainly in the southwestern highlands near the Guatemalan border, but numerous self-identified indigenous populations live in other areas, such as the Nonu Alcos south of the capital. According to a special report in El Diario de Hoy, Due to preservation and revitalization efforts of various non-profit organizations in conjunction with several universities, combined with a post-Civil War resurgence of Papil identity in the country of El Salvador, the number of Nahuatl speakers rose from 200 in the 1980s to 3,000 speakers in 2009. The vast majority are young people giving the language hope of being pulled from the brink of extinction. 
There is also a renewed interest in the preservation of the traditional beliefs and other cultural practices of the Papil, as well as a greater willingness by the communities to perform their ceremonies in public and don traditional clothing. Atico, Tacuba, Santa Catarina Mazaguat, Santo Domingo de Guzman, Nahuizalco, Isalca, Teotepaqui, Chicalapa, Comazigua, Chiltiapan, Quisnawat. The Cusacatalcos, who became the dominant power in the region that is today El Salvador, had their capital in Cusacatlan, the Isalcas, who were very wealthy due to their great cocoa production, the Nonualcos, of the central region, who were renowned for their love of war, the Mazuahas, who were dedicated to raising the white-tailed deer.